Oh look, a dead horse. Be a real shame if I were to... Oh, oh. I know where this is going. Should have prepared my anus. No, skip, skip to the next part of the video where he starts talking. Don't need to deal with this disappointment either. Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy iDubs here, and today we're going to be going over the top five worst YouTube channels. I'd say the number one pick is fair to say that this is the worst YouTuber of all time, but as for the other four, they can be changed. I'm just going to label this as the top five worst YouTube channels as of 2016. This entire portion really is the death of this list. You'll see what I'm talking about later. You know, this only reinforces why people believe you're lazy, because you never elaborate on this point ever. In fact, later in the video, he basically says the same thing again, and yet... No explanation as to why it destroys the video at all, it just, it just, just happens here, and boom, done, that's it, whatever. Now, coming in at the number 5 spot, we have the Fine Bros. And I'm pretty sure you guys know why I gave these boys the number 5 spot. Because speaking for everyone is the way to go! Also, that editing is complete bogus! What, what's so bad about talking over a video montage of the person you're covering? You know, something you do more frequently with your later entries? No, nope. instead you gotta show us your shitty let's play of Black Ops 3 Zombies. Hey Cryopez, I think I found your cousin. Okay, to so your credit, you at least show footage of your subject matter, unlike him who did a straight up let's play throughout. No sources or anything. Hello there, Tangents, I didn't know you were going to drop by. Okay, Sloth, let, let's get down to business. Editing. He shows a picture and talks over it. We do the same thing. Really, it's not a big deal, especially what happens next in the video. Also, uh, kind sir, allow me to let you know that about a couple of months ago, every single channel had a video about the Fine Brothers. You could not miss this. So I don't think he's really did a goof if literally everyone talked about it five spot around i'd say four months ago i originally said i hate reaction channels but i did leave out h3 h3 and the fine bros i said the fine bros and h3 are the only good reaction channels that i know of to be honest but that all changed when uh the fine bros try to attempt react world many creators ourselves included having their shows and formats blatantly stolen by companies and people both online and on television so if you're interested in creating your own version of any of our react formats which if you don't then what is wrong with you you're a fucking idiot Oh yay! The overused filthy Frank meme that everyone seems to be abusing. Such creativity. You know, while we're at it, let me pull up a John Cena meme. How about it? Of course. The memes are the real enemy. Thank God our Lord and Savior Sloth Boy has found this for us. That or he just doesn't understand the comedy subjective. Coming in the number four spot, we have Jinx. This is not surprising to many of you guys. You guys know that I do not like Jinx. Pretty much steals content. I mean, let's just get down to the hard facts. You can't call that fair use. I'm going to explain what Jinx does for you guys who don't know who Jinx is. He is a React YouTuber. When you guys think of React, you guys most likely want to think of good things like H3 and Leafy is here. But what Jinx is doing is watching a whole video in its entirety and putting his face cam in the corner and just not even talking, just watching the whole video in its entirety and just laughing or just maybe saying a couple words and he's getting millions of views on these videos and just gaining income off of making a 720p video of him just sitting there watching a video yeah so he's doing a natural reaction to something i mean i guess you could say his reactions aren't funny but you're making it sound like he sucks because he isn't leafy as here or h3 h productions what do we call that projection pro it's not projection, he just gave them out as examples, and to be honest, there's a lot more reason as to why uh, reactioners and jinx in general are disliked. We'll get into that later because I have a lot to say on this subject. I'm gonna get into the main reason why I hate him. Just look at this clip. This is absolutely the main reason why I do not like Jinx at all. All I wanna know is if you do not like my reactions, if you hate my reactions, and you absolutely do not want me to react to your videos, Please let me know. D DM me, email me, tweet me. There are several ways to contact me. It's not hard at all. Let me know. Like, yo, I'm not cool with reactions. 
and I, I will never I will never react to your channel. It's just my thing is there are a lot of YouTubers that love me doing reactions. Then there's a lot of YouTubers that not. I don't know the ones that don't and do because they won't tell me. They don't have to tell you, Jinx, you fucking moron. It's their video. They're not expecting some asshole like you to go over there and steal it and react to it. You don't know that. I mean, I can guarantee you, you didn't expect me to take this commentary on you, and I sure as fuck didn't ask you if I could do it. What's so bad about him wanting to honor someone's wishes? And also, stop talking so fast. You're making it hard for me to edit my parts in, you dimwit. That just further proves that people think you're lazy, because, hard work, I don't want to do it. And, c listen, sloth, snake, whatever you want to say, when someone takes a video that you made, makes money off of it, and doesn't give you the money that you deserve, guess what? They're stealing your profits. Now, I will address the video that he made, but here's the problem. He's making that video after he got caught. He should have asked the person the very first time he found the video and said, said, hey, can I use it? But he didn't. He just stole it and made money off of it. Seems legit to me. I mean, what, what do I know? I'm just a fucking guy that's sitting on here on a couch watching the goddamn YouTube video. Ask them for permission first, you fucking retard. Take off the damn bucket hat, you fucking queer. It's a jinx bucket hat. <sighs> Lazily commence dead hominem attacks, the last resort of a vacuous individual who's run out of intelligent reasons to argue another standpoint. I mean, yes, I insult people, but the difference is I'm being intentionally unlikable to play a character. You sound completely serious and vengeful. Like, chill the fuck out. All he does is make videos you don't like. My good sir, I'd hate to say this, but, uh, your actions tend to speak louder than words. Because you have shown that you are not very good at taking criticism when you don't get what you want, aka a good rep on the CC, and despite what you might say, no one believes that you play a character. Not a single person. My left toe doesn't even believe that. It's one of the worst YouTubers of all time and one of the worst human beings of all time. Then why is he only number three? I swear to the god who doesn't exist that the next entries better be Elliot Roger or Chris Chan because those are the only people I can think of off the top of my head who are more abominable. Ah, oh Christ, hold on a second. Tumblr, please take M Skull back. We just don't want him anymore. Sorry, dude, I just... I can't. There's just too many SJWs. That wasn't the option. Take him. The CC doesn't need any more of this shit. To be fair, I'm skipping the next... minute or two because neither one of them bring up any points and then, well, Sloth makes a really... actually kind of funny joke. But I want to get to his point because... You'll see what happens. Okay, I don't want to jump to the conclusion that she's a troll, but it's kind of clear she's going for the childish exaggeration shtick. So, yeah, you got pranked, bro. And you took it seriously. So seriously that it's apparently worse than sexual harassment! Whoa, whoa there, Eli. I, I hate to tell you, but maybe he, he took that into consideration because uh, a woman who's using her body to get followers and to make money... <laughs> It's just as bad as someone who might actually be a sexual predator. Yo, Flo Antonio. Oh boy, if you guys don't know who this is, and you guys seriously have some problems. This guy is the worst YouTuber of all time. Screw the 2016 shit. He is the worst ever. And obviously, I'm going to explain what he does and how he's so bad for the people who don't know, which I don't see how you don't know. So Flo Antonio steals content, and you guys may be wondering, well, doesn't Jinx do the same thing? Yeah, but the difference between So Flo and Jinx is, Jinx actually watches the video in its entirety, which is still bad, but here's what So Flo does. He has a small intro before his video. I say his video ironically, and it's pretty much just this. What's up guys? It's SoFlo Antonio, and this is SoFlo Comedy. What is with all of these countdown makers despising people who, in quotations, steal other people's videos? It's not like he's acting like he made them. He's just providing his own commentary on whatever video he decided to address. Besides, what are you gonna do? Sue him for copyright infringement? Because most of the videos he goes after aren't copyrighted. Snake. Sloth. Guy who lives down the road, probably. Look, the problem with people who make reactions is that it's not covered under fair use. As commentators, we're fine, because guess what? It's criticism. We try to make the video, or the video maker, better by trying to explain what the problems are, and artificially lengthen the video with our own interjections and change it up a little bit. He, however, is just playing the video and going, ha, 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 
That's not covered by fair use there, buddy. That's it. That's the only thing this guy does. He steals a video with their watermark on it, just steals some random video off of someone's channel and uploads it. And oh, did I mention that he uploads it and meta tags it? Speaking of which, his stupidity is almost Britney Venti level. Recently, he made a video titled H3 Exposed. And as you guys may know that H3 is one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. He attacked him and wanted to expose him because H3 kind of, you know, exposed SoFlo for what he is and just kind of did the right thing and just warned people about his channel. And SoFlo got very offended when somebody said hey you're still in content and you're an asshole which he is i don't know why he doesn't just own up to it because dumb fuck he is not stealing videos he isn't re-uploading them and taking the credit for them he is responding to them i did not steal this video to commentate on it what i did was download it and provided commentary on it which is in fact fair use my god i can't believe people are still this fucking stupid oh look you just made an anahominum attack on him it's amazing what you do when you are completely- Look, dude, I- The lack of a mirror in your house must really throw you off sometimes. And one thing I just wanted to mention before I hit it off and leave you guys with the outro. So Flo Antonio quoted the Bible and tried to make some relative points saying that H3 was a hypocrite. So before you go about shit-talking any more YouTubers, you hypocrite, why don't you take that log out of your own eye before you try to remove the speck in someone else's? Peace out. Mr. Soflo Antonio, don't you fucking quote the Bible when you have videos titled Blowjobs in public, kissing prey, grabbing boobs, sex in public, never before seen God anal. Mr. Antonio, drink bleach, faggot. <laughs> so witty and original, bro. And it's hilarious how you say he can't quote the Bible because he posts lewd content, then immediately after, tell him to drink bleach as well as call him a faggot. Okay, tentacle of hypocrisy, I thought you were bugging Ponder's channel. But, but he never brought up the, the Bravo. Never, he didn't bring up the Bravo at all. I mean, what were you there watching? <laughs> So that video is over, so what I have to say about it? Um, well, uh, aside from the brain damage I just suffered, uh, uh, Sloth, you reminded me of me about two to three years ago when I made a whole bunch of shit videos and didn't take any criticism. It wasn't until recently that I actually got much better at my videos, and I now look at my older videos from that time period and cringe. They are the worst on my channel, but I refuse to delete them because I make mistakes. You, however, have gotten worse. My dear sir, please understand you have to step back for a minute and look at what you've done with yourself and your d friends. Really, it's just gotten to the point where you're a joke and really, hopefully me commentating on you will stop the bandwagon. Because that tends to happen when I do that. I'm that to with a beard and I gotta lay down.